Hi, friends. In honor of the wonderfully rainy weather we're getting this week, I picked out a really fun read aloud for you that is Weston's favorite book. It's actually a really big book, and it's called In the Rain with Baby Duck. Oh, it's so big. I'm going to have to practice fitting it inside the screen here. All right, so I'll do my best. <clears throat> Look, see how big it is? In the Rain with Baby Duck by Amy Hest, illustrated by Jill Burton. Pit-a-pat, pit-a-pat, pit a pit a pat Oh, the rain came down, it poured and poured. Baby Duck was mad. She did not like walking in the rain. But it was Pancake Sunday, a duck family tradition, and Baby loved pancakes. And she loved Grandpa, who was waiting on the other side of town. Pit a pat, pit a pat, pit a pit a pat. Follow us, step lively. Mr. and Mrs. Duck left the house arm in arm. Wet feet, wailed baby. Don't dally, dear. Don't drag behind, called Mr. Duck. Wet face, pouted baby. Water in my eyes. Mrs. Duck pranced along. See how the rain rolls off your back? Mud, muttered baby. Mud, mud, mud. Don't dawdle, dear. Don't lag behind. Mr. and Mrs. Duck skipped ahead. They waddled, they shimmied, they hopped in all the puddles. Baby dawdled. She dallied and pouted and dragged behind. Oh, friends, how do you think she's feeling? Doesn't sound good. She sang a little song. I do not like the rain one bit splashing down my neck. Baby feathers soaking wet. I do not like this mean old day. Are you singing? Called Mr. and Mrs. Duck. What a fine thing to do in the rain. Baby stopped singing. Oh, look ahead. Can you see who's in the picture? You bring it closer. Who is that? Oh, it's Grandpa. Grandpa was waiting at the front door. He put his arm around baby. Wet feet, he asked. Yes, baby said. Wet face, grandpa asked. Yes, baby said. Mud, grandpa asked. Yes, baby said. Mud, mud, mud. I'm afraid the rain makes baby cranky, clucked Mr. Duck. I've never heard of a duck who doesn't like rain, worried Mrs. Duck. Is that a fact? Grandpa kissed baby's cheeks. Grandpa took baby's hand. Come with me, baby. They went upstairs to the attic. We are looking for a tall green bag, Grandpa said. Friends, can you find the tall green bag? Do you see it? Look around. There it is, the tall green bag. All right, let's stop and make a prediction. What do you think might be inside that tall green bag? Hmm. Hmm. Finally, they found it. 
Inside was a beautiful red umbrella. There were matching boots too. These used to be your mother's, Grandpa whispered. A long time ago, she was the baby duck who did not like rain. Baby opened the umbrella. The boots were just the right size. Ooh, friends, take a look at her picture. How do you think she's feeling now? She looks happy to me too. Let's see. See if it changes her rumpy mood. Baby and Grandpa marched downstairs. <gasps> my boots, cried Mrs. Duck, and my bunny umbrella. No, mine, said Baby. You look lovely, said Mrs. Duck. Mr. Duck put a platter of pancakes on the table. After that, Baby and Grandpa went outside. Look at that huge stack of pancakes. Do you think they can eat them all? What do you like to eat with your pancakes? Mm, I like syrup and whipped cream on my pancakes. And I like blueberry pancakes the best. Weston and Pierce like chocolate chip pancakes. Mr. Broshi likes them plain. Pit pat, pit a pat. Pit a pit a pat. Oh, the rain came down. It poured and poured. Baby Duck and Grandpa walked arm in arm in the rain. They waddled, they shimmied, they hopped in all the puddles. And Baby Duck sang a new song. I really like the rain a lot, splashing my umbrella. Big red boots on baby feet. I really love this rainy day. Look how happy she's feeling now. The end. All right, I hope you like that story in the rain with baby duck. I think we're gonna have some rainy weather again today. I attach some exciting rainy day activities into um, class tag so mom and dad or whoever is taking good care of you can do some fun activities with you. I'll see you later.